you're in Massachusetts, there's only one place to go to disc golf. That's right. Spin it. Hey DMD family, welcome back to another Discs MD video. And we are at the disc golf mecca of the world, Maple Hill. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try my hand at golds today. So the very bottom one. 1020 rating, 8,864 feet, par 60. Yeah, let's see how we do. Let's get to it. All right, so hole number one is a 853 foot par four. You guys, I mean, you guys know this. We we watch this every year. Carry the water. I'm playing golds, so grandstands are here, full of people waiting for me to tee off. Um, <laughs> So I just so I'm, I'm throwing a non Lone Star disc here. Sorry, Lone Star, but I just I really need to see what it's going to take to clear the water. I've, I've never played here before, so I'm going to throw the two off the front here. See if this one clears. If this one clears, I may not throw another one. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so here we go. For better or worse, a little bit of a tailwind too. Oh, that turned over. Way far. That was my Hades, so it's going to turn over. All right. All right. I see where that one landed right there. And that's the one we're starting with. Let's go. I think I'm just going to tomahawk some up to see if I can get it close. So, for better or worse, you ready? All right. I'm imagining that's a Mando. I'm not sure. But I think that's a Mando. So we're we're gonna play it like a Mando. Oh. No, we're not. We're gonna play it like not a Mando. <laughs> if that's a Mando, sorry. I'm playing it not like a Mando. Can we par hole number one? Really? And we can. Par hole number one. Okay, let's go to hole number two. All right, hole number two. 381 foot par three straight ahead again the trees on the left you, you guys know these holes um if you're watching me you know these holes so uh yeah i'm gonna throw my mad cat here 381 feet's probably far from my mad cat but we're gonna give it a shot get down get down all right, that should be up there, up and down for the par. Let's go. So I'm, I'm extremely nervous. So my throw probably doesn't look anything like it should right now. I don't know. It's just something about being on these tee pads from the longs. I'm just nervous. So, yeah. So give me a couple holes to settle down, and then we'll start getting into a groove. All right, not too bad. A little putter approach here. Get down. All right, we should be able to put that in for the par. All right, two pars in a row. I, I have a feeling this course lulls you into a false sense of security the first couple of holes because these seem far far easier than I thought. Well, let's go see what happens on hole three. All right, 407 foot par three. Looks like something I need to just get up and fade to the right a little bit. I was going to throw my Mockingbird. I, th I think I still am. Tight. This is tighter than it looks on TV. Yanked it. 
Oh, that's not a bad kick. Okay, let's go get it. Chip Heiser up and around with the walker here. All right, that should go. All right. Long death putt for the par here. <laughs> I may lay up. Nah, we're not laying up. We didn't come in Maple Hill to lay up. Yes, let's go. All right, hole number four, unbelievably, we're even through three. So this is the iconic short hole, really narrow gap. So I'm going to I'm gonna throw two shots here, but I'm going to only score my first one. I'm at Maple Hill. I have to throw more than one shot. Um, my first, There's a sneaky forehand shot right to the right here, I think. So if I come in right there, I think I can make it down there with a forehand. We're going to try that as my played shot. And then I want to try the putter shot straight up the middle. So stand still, forehand. Let's see if we can get it. Four. Thank you. All right. So now just for entertainment value, putter shot up the middle. Okay, you have to throw it much harder than that. <laughs> look, he's show look, he's showing us where the basket oh that's a peace sign. I thought he was showing us where the basket is. Little gnomes. This place is great. Just gonna hyzer sort of put something up there, maybe. Yes. All right. Yet another par. Let's go into what it five? Five. All right, hole number five. Again, iconic holes, all of them. Water carry to hook to the right. This should be a stock hyzer for me with my chup. Um, I really don't care if I lose my chup because I rarely use it. Sorry, Josh. I know you use it all the time. I just don't have the arm for it. So 262 feet, I should be able to get it there. Um, there is a path over the red tees by the red basket and then left, but it's really narrow. So we're just going to give this a shot and see what happens. Just throw it high and hope it gets out there. Practice first. <sighs> go, go, go. Daggone it. Didn't throw it high enough. All right, that's all right. I don't know if there's a drop, sign, drop zone or if we have to re -tee. We'll see. Let's go. All right, so we're just going to putt from about here, take a stroke, penalty stroke. So I'm putting for throw one into putting for three. Hmm. Now putting for four. All right, we'll take a four there and move on to hole six, five, six. All right. All right, here we go. Hole number six, the really tight 390 foot par three straight up into the woods. Baskets a little to the right. This is the rock wall hole, I'm, I think. So it is over the rock wall OB. It certainly is. All right. So let's just try to get something straight out there. Nope. Obi. Okay, early Obi. All right, let's go. So it's up there. So I went out about here, early out, just early released. So I'm just going to try to pitch something up and around. Hopefully up and down for bogey. So this is for bogey. This is for bogey. Oh, so close. All right, double. Is that a, a bogey and then a W? So we'll, that'll, that'll put us three over through seven. Not bad. All right, double bogey. Three over through seven. Let's get through eight.
All right, sorry, that was three over through six on hole seven. So hole seven is a 422 foot par three. It looks straight ahead and extremely narrow. So we're gonna go growler here and just try to pump something to hyzer flip up the straight. Uh oh, yep. That was an early hit. We have work to do. Just gonna forehand something up and around. <clears throat> that should be get up and down for the par or the, for the bogey there. All right, donning the Maple Hill hat. Got a new Maple Hill mini. Just gonna use this. The market. <sighs> All right, long putt for bogey. Mosquitoes are killing me. This it does have teeth after hole three. <laughs> nope. Ah. All right. Putting for the double, and move on to hole eight. All right, hole number nine. There's two pin locations here, apparently. Um, I think it's in the A pin spot, so 650 foot par four. I'm gonna play it like that. I think, I think it's in the A pin spot. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see when we get up there. <laughs> Going growler here. Just get something up there. <sighs> That'll do. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully you can hear me from here. I, I'm gonna try like a layup, a little bit of a layup and not layup. Try to forehand and have it break off to the left and land down if you pan over to your right. Have it land right over there. Best laid plans. Nope. A, a semi hyzer. I can't hyzer it too much, or it's going right in that water. All right, let's see if we can get it. Oh, go in! Oh, what? What? Yes. Par on hole nine. Well, there you have it. That's the front nine here at Maple Hill. Five over through nine. I, I, I don't know. I think that's better than I thought it would do. Uh, I'm really happy about it. So come back for the back nine. Should be dropping the day after this one. As always, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your support. Until next time, enjoy the journey. Here's your verse of the day.